Hello, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday the 7th. So it is, today is the first full week of October. Um, unless, you know, you're already on the other side of the dateline. Um, so yes, so, um, good Lord, I swear I had coffee this morning. Um, I am going to be working on a couple of different things today. I'm going to be working on transcribing some notes. Um, stop saying, um, stop it. Just stop it. I'm going to be working on transcribing some notes for the, my project moon phase that, um, y'all, I swear, the more I try not to do it, the more it happens. I need to work on my public speaking because I feel like I have regressed in that. But anyway, I'm going to be transcribing notes for my project moon phase because this will be the first full week of the moon phase experiment. And I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the internet yesterday. So I spent a couple of sort of like short sprint sessions, handwriting some notes, and I need to transcribe those. Also, because it is the end of the first full week of October, it will be a full week of the moon phase experiment. So I'm going to be drafting a blog post for that. Um, I also had a story idea this morning, story like dream idea. And I don't know, there's something about it. And I'm like, I'm trying to remember. And now I'm saying like, good God, I'm trying to remember where I have, if I have heard of this, thing before or if it's just a twist on something. So I'm going to read you sort of my notes that I took this morning um, on the story idea that I had. And y'all tell me if you've heard of something like these creatures or if there's a particular name from them. It might be from folklore or something. But So if you know of something, let me know. Um, but they're small creatures that are generally magical, and they were given the gift of crafting from some sort of divine being, whether it is a particular god or multiple gods, don't know. But only so long as they kept the knowledge secret. So how to craft these particular things, just anything in general or something in particular, I'm not sure. So that's why the habit of knocking on doors came into play, because if you didn't knock on a door and you just waltzed on in, you would ruin their craft if they were secretly working on something in that closed room. And so their craft would then begin to break. And so they would start chasing you who, or whoever invaded the room without knocking. And their eyes would glow red at night. And they hunted by finding the reflection of their eyeball glow, essentially, in the eyes of their prey. So if you ever saw glowing red eyes at night, you were supposed to close your eyes real tight. I don't know. So I feel like, and for whatever reason, like the nickname Sammy popped into my head, but then I was trying to figure out if I was just twisting brownies. So if y'all have ever heard of something like this, uh, do let me know, because I don't know if this is my own brain's invention, or if this is something from one of the many, many folk tales that I have read. So if you know of some sort of creature like that, please put it in the comments, because my brain is going like, did I think of this? Is this, is this a real thing? I don't know. Um, anyway, so let me say hello now that I've gotten that out of the way. Uh, Alexis is here. Hello, you were first today. Devin is here. Howdy. Welcome. Sarah Keith is here. Hello, hello. Laura Dreams Bray. Dreams Big. Hey, yeah. Hello. Welcome. Charlie is here. Hey, hey. I just watched your Milberty Week vlog that included all of the neighbor's fire and the copyright claim and yes. You had a lot going on this past week. That was a lot. Petra is here. Hello. Welcome. Ayane, just in time. Exactly. Yay. 
Paget is here. Hey, hey, welcome. You are overwhelmingly proud of yourself for being eight seconds early. Awesome. <laughs> Rosalind is here. Hello, welcome. Squizzums. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> nice. CB is here. Hello, welcome. Devin says, um, 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 exactly. That's that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Laura says, hello, you've been cleaning your room. You have four bags of clothes to donate and lots you're throwing out. So excited to see the floor around your rug again. Yeah, that I feel that. I feel that a lot because I just put my laundry away after like two weeks. Because I, for whatever reason, I don't mind doing it. I don't mind folding it. I just I hate putting it back in the closet and in the drawers. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm lazy. So I often just fold it and put it in a basket and leave the basket on the floor, which is not good. It's not good. Okay, telekins are crab-like creatures that had the power to make anything from Greek mythology. It also sounds like a cross between Domovoi and Kikimora. Okay, I will write those down because I I don't know. And I wonder if the telekins, that my guess is that is probably, it's spelled different in the game Titan Quest, but that's probably where they got that. But it didn't look like a crap, so I don't know. Game design. So, Domovoys. I've heard of Domovoys. Okay, so thank you for that, Charlie. I will look those up. Orla is here. Hello, you are not too late. Stacy is here. You won't be here long because you have to take your youngest to the doctors but you will help with runtime at least. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. And hopefully you might be able to get a little bit of work in. Charlie says, yeah, I'm still not at 100%, but you're better than you were yesterday. Good, good. You put uh, boxes on top of your wardrobe earlier, which involved climbing the short ladder. Oh no. Stacy, you've thinned out your clothes so much that you could not have bags of clothes to give away without a major weight change. Yeah. I feel that too. At different times. I feel so good to see the rug again. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I keep saying I'm going to get to my bookshelves and start thinning things out. But then I keep putting it off. So, don't know. Orla says, glad you are feeling better, Charlie. Yes, sometimes your brain needs a stern talking to. Yes, I will second that for my own brain as well. All right, so since I have several things I want to do today, I think we can go ahead and move on into, um, there's the um again, move on into these prints. And I feel like I want to use Tomato Tom again. So that's what we will be doing. CB says, also, I'm probably barking up the wrong story tree with this, but it sounds a little bit like Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that, but that's kind of, yeah. There's some interesting things. Yeah. That was a weird, weird movie to see when you were really young. Like, really weird to see when you were young. <laughs> like, I still remember seeing it and going like, what is happening? So, yeah. All right, so the first sprint, as always, is the 15-minute sprint. And in this case, we will have Tomato Tom sitting on his picnic blanket, drinking whatever his hydration fluid is. And that is your reminder to make sure that you have saved your document and you have something to hydrate with, those two things. And if you need to stretch, go ahead and stretch. But we're going to go ahead and get started in, make sure I've shared everything correctly, in five, four, three, two, one, go!
oops I forgot to unmute it <laughs> a little early so y'all could hear the chime oh no um all right how are we I think I got a little shy of 500 so pretty good for um very good actually for a it's not what i want there we go um very good for a 15 minute sprint so we're gonna do the short break and have tomato tom dance away for five minutes all right so gabby made it before the timer started excellent just joined hope everybody is doing well and good afternoon excellent yay and laura is making alfredo with sun-dried tomatoes for lunch very nice i had leftover chicken pot pie because i made chicken pot pie last night and it was delicious so i had leftovers laura was doing uni stuff first so you absolutely will not fall behind the first week. That is a good plan. That is a very good plan. <laughs> Orla, this is a cute but disturbing timer. It's, it's very cute, yes. Um, it is kind of odd, though. So, Paget got 228. That is not a blurg. That is a good 228. That is awesome. Ayana got 276. Nice. Orla got 411. Excellent. Alicia is here. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Nicole, hello. Just under 200. Not bad. You're up to 405 today. Excellent. That is awesome. That is a great start. Did some reading for uni and got half a page of notes. Excellent. Very good. See, we got 240, yay. Paget, your husband has this American experience on about McCarthy and you keep looking up at it. Uh, are you seeing echoes of what's going on right now? Hmm, yes. I also read there was, um, there was a BBC article about, um, about doctors who had gone over to do humanitarian work in what was it is it in the philippines maybe but essentially the i think it might have been the philippines um but the the area had essentially been testing grounds for mccarthyism and red scare tactics and so those have been revived against the um please stop doing that um I keep seeing the little orange banner flicker on and off. But um, those tactics have been revived, but against the humanitarians who are coming in. And it's, it's an interesting thing. Sarah said, I located a trifold foam display board that you used a long time ago for your daughter's homeschooling. You're going to turn it into a storyboard with your outline. Excellent. Yay for recycling. Because those things are expensive now. Which is silly. Gabby, woo, dance party with Tomato Tom. You got 421. Excellent. Yes, Laura's lunch does sound amazing. Yes. Charlie is continuing your outlining and world building for an idea that you love but don't know how to get to writing. I can't help you there because I, I am still discovering how outlines work for me. So... Tina, hello, working on your morning pages before finishing up this novella before Nano. Gotcha. That is, there are so, let me know if you're doing Nano in the, in the chat. I am, I'm going to be attempting it with this moon phase project, which means that I have to get a lot more outlined uh, because at the moment I am still struggling on the plot aspects of things i'm i'm developing the characters at the moment but i'm still struggling on the overarching main plot i have a b plot figured out but i don't have the main plot which is silly like to figure out the subplot before you figure out the right i don't know it's gonna be weird cb overheard rogers telling clinton barton that my parents were murdered <gasps> gasp 
Dun, dun, dun. Nicole said, I had leftover stuffed zucchini for lunch. Mm, now you're hungry again. <laughs> Squithums edited seven pages and hydrated with some tap water. That's what I've got today as well. So Laura dreams big. You, you will make a very improvised quesadillas for dinner soon. That sounds good as well. Had breakfast late, so skipped lunch. For dinner, you had mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is always a good... Yeah, I think it is the Philippines. Um, and I'll have to go see if I can find that to verify, that article to verify, but I think it was the Philippines. The show does a good job of uh, explaining at the end when he... The self-destruction. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. So let's go through the last couple of comments real quick. You have not decided if you are rebelling or not this year. So I am going to be sort of rebelling because I'm, while I'm going to be working on the moon phase, I'm also going to be working on Project Gray um, for sure. And I don't know what else, but th I'm going to have at least two projects. I'm just only going to declare one on the nano site because it's a pain in the butt to try and switch back and forth. So CB is doing a nano. Sympathy for McCarthy since he was just like basically curls up and dies. <laughs> doing nano, but many short stories instead of a novel. Gotcha. I like that. Doing a novella in the nano. So unofficially, yes. Gotcha. I would feel bad, but you're a total destructive sociopath. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I will see if I can find the link during this break and or during this next sprint and post it in the chat for you. Not doing nano officially, but if you finish this November, you will be dis delighted. Attempting nano, but with uni and homework, you haven't had much time for outlining or even picking a project. Gotcha. Or you could just be a, a rebel and, you know, have a much smaller word count goal. So there's that. Rogers and Barton don't know Tony knows about that little revelation. They don't know he overheard them. Hmm. Might do the same, declaring one and working on the other on the side. Yeah. You are doing nano, thinking of doing projects you've been brainstorming for the last few months. And Laura is going to be trying to hit 80K for nano. Nice. All right, so we let our Tomato Tom dance for a little bit longer than he should have, but that's okay. So make sure that you save and hydrate. Save and hydrate. And we will make him bigger. There we go. And we are going to get started in five, four, three, two, one, go!
right. How was that? I did pretty good. I think I am up to, am I up to 1300 already? Today's going well, if that's the case, but let me do the math just in case because um, my math skills are questionable. So four, Yes, I am up to 1355 already, which is amazing because sometimes my whole stream total is somewhere between 13 and 15. So doing good today. Doing good. I like it. Um, I like it a lot. Doing good. I'm still working on trying to figure out some of the connections between the B plot and the A plot. Um, some of those are becoming a little clear and sometimes I'm just, as I'm asking myself questions, um, I, I confuse myself. So, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right. So Heather popped in. Hello. And so did Bethany. Hello, welcome. Let's see. Ayane got 441, nice. Alicia got your assignment sorted out, trying to finish these final papers in October to have nine, time for nano, yes. How many words did Tomato Tom get? Mm, 429, because that was the time on the timer. <laughs> I don't know. But that is a good question. How many words would Tomato Tom have gotten? Sarah Keefe, set up save, save the cat beats on your trifold board. Nice. Tina, 119, just getting started. Excellent. That is good, though. Orla got 213 that time. Excellent. CB got 627 words. Nice. Fine, we'll take your suggestions then. Clint and I will go south around the park and you guys can go north and whoever gets back first has to get the pizza. Sounds like plan. Saying hello. Nicole got about 275 and you are now up to 681. Nice. Gabby decided to work on an essay for class and wrote 662 words for it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm, um, I don't know. So I figured out that when I pulled cl my um, clarification cards, um, I essentially kept pulling more clarification cards as I got, got more questions. And so I wound up with like two layers of the, um, the wheel spread that I did. Um, and all I did was I essentially just, um, took my wheel of the year sheet that my friend Erin at Learned Horology, I, when I took her class, um, I just had that. So I did one card for each direction um, and then the uh, hidden card on the deck. So, but I wound up having cards to do two full rounds of that. So I thought initially I was just getting clarification. It turns out like the second poll with my clarification was all mostly B plot stuff. Um, and so, but I still have questions about the A plot. So I might have to do another round of um, tarot pulls, but I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm confused. I'm not sure. And that's, that's part of my, pro that's part of my problems with outlining is I, when I'm indecisive, I just, give myself more questions and then I have more options and then I get confused as to which route I should go. And so I wound, I wind up usually just preferring to start something and just like go with it. Um, and so pantsing feels more comfortable to, to me than like sitting there and contemplating all the options for what feels like forever. Um, so yes, that's that's kind of like where my brain is at. I'm like, I have too many options now. Uh, Charlie is working through the world building and realized that a couple of years 
wrote that your world ended on October 10th, 2020, when a comet struck China. So, yeah, I second that, Orla. Let's not inspire the universe. <laughs> uh yes so heather wrote an important dm nice and laura is back from making food excellent that is a good thing um i don't know i'm just i have so many choices now like i i pulled uh i went ahead and i separated the emperor card from the deck because i kept seeing it um kind of when i was shuffling and whatnot and i was like you're so pretty i don't i mean just because he's pretty um, and so I just wound up sort of like, I don't know where you belong yet, but here, like, I'll keep you to the side. And so I literally, I just went and I wrote, let's see how many words, just that, just the emperor card information, like questions and whatnot. So I wrote 249 words of just like questions of like, how does this fit? How could it possibly fit? Um, and so like, so now I'm just like, is this for this book? Is this for a different book? I don't know. So I'm just questions, 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 questions. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling sort of a little, I think a little lost in the questions today. So I'm hoping that, um, maybe I can sort of like rein my brain in, um, because I still have to focus on having a sort of like a mentor character and I have not developed the mentor character yet. Oh my gosh, Nicole just typed the end. Yay! Your first draft is complete and you plan to celebrate before you start thinking too much about the flaming pile of crap future, the future you will need to revise. Yes, absolutely celebrate. That is amazing. Congratulations. Um, Oh, so good. So good. Yay. That is awesome. So I have um, my friend from learntorology.com has a class that's an introduction to timing class. And so um, I, I took her class. And so we went through and um, she had these sort of like pie slice diagrams for us to label um, as we went through and we talked about what the different directions meant, um, what moon phases would be associated with the directions, which holidays were associated with each thing. And so um, that what I did was I essentially um, took this diagram and I pulled a card. And so I was like, okay, this is my north card. Then I pulled another, this is my northeast. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out um, instead of like the plot diagram, the normal plot diagram, I'm like trying to associate it with directions and, and meanings and elements and things that are associated with the wheel. Um, and so, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. It's part of my moon phase experiment because my friend Aaron told us uh, which moon phases were associated with which direction. And so I was like, oh, maybe I can incorporate this. So, yes, congratulations, Nicole. Paget says, first draft complete. Huzzah. <laughs> Nicole, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> Bow is totally appropriate, yes. To finish is such sweet sorrow for you shall have to start edits tomorrow. That, yeah. Yeah, I should have definitely started edits way sooner than I did. But, you know. Did something similar a long while back to plot. Yes. Basically a walking dad joke at this point. No, I like it. I, th I think it's perfect. So, all right, let it, let's uh, stop Tomato Tom from his dancing extravaganza before he gets sore. And we are going to go back to the Pomodoro. So don't forget to save your document. Make sure you have something to hydrate with. I'm going to be finishing off my glass and going to refill it during this sprint. So there's that. Um, and yeah, so save, hydrate, stretch, 
and we are going to get started in five, four, three, two, one, go!
All right. Uh, I cheated and kept typing a little bit there, but <clears throat> tis okay. So how are we doing? I think I have passed the 2K mark, which is amazing for what I normally do. So maybe I'm not doing so bad after all today. Um, so yes, so I think I have, what did I start on? Yes, so I think I'm at 2100, which is awesome. So yay. Let's set up our little short break, Dancing Tomato Tom. And let's see. Nicole said, oh no, I'm not gonna start editing tomorrow. I'm giving this puppy at least a week to sit and stew nicely. And then Padgett said, for a second there, I thought you were going to get an actual puppy. <laughs> and I was like, that's the best finishing gift ever. Alexis is back. Got distracted by Avatar Aang and Katara vids. That is, yep, they're very distracting. Bethany said, okay, I'm back, had a craving and had to locate some airheads. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that's the thing about cravings is you think about the one thing. And if you don't get that one thing, you're going to be eating everything else instead. And you still are thinking about the one thing. So, Nikki is here. Hello. How are you? How's your family? Any good news updates for your dad? Um, do let us know. We've been thinking about you. So, get mad with Cat the Lad. Tomato Tom. Yes. <laughs> got here just as the timer was going off perfect alicia found a few sources you think this assignment won't take you as long as you thought yay that's always a good feeling gabby wrote 529 words for your homework assignment excellent excellent and i think you got about 600 the last time so you're making real good progress Sarah, you're trimming scrapbooking paper into index cards for the scenes that will eventually go onto your outlining board. Ooh, do you, are you using them for like sort of like shadow box or drop shadows and you're going to post like an actual index card over top or are you using just like pretty, pretty paper and you're going to be writing on pretty paper? Um, because if you want just index cards, uh, the dollar store. CB says 634. Excellent. Alicia says hi to Nikki. Bethany says I was literally not going to be able to write another word until you had some airheads. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel that. The cravings are bad. Heather says I made, I made a change to my website. Is it a good change? Is it a nice change? Hopefully so. Squizm says, because I write better in 15 minutes sprints, you waited until there was 15 minutes left and you got 386 words. Yay, excellent. That is good. Because yeah, 15 minute sprints sometimes are the perfect thing that I need. And so yeah, so there are definitely optimal sprint times for everybody so that's one of the things that tracking has been kind of fun is to see which length of sprints i do best in i still haven't quite figured out because i've been tracking other things recently like just total words for millwardy so cb no why don't you do it i had to the other night climb down the fire escape walk around the block and come in the front oh and here oh dear where is it I said, tossing him a key. You'll need this to get back in. <laughs> nice. Fun, fun, fun. Um, we should, we still have about 20 minutes left. So we'll do, um, we will probably do a short sprint. Short sprint. Tina got 129. This round, really slugging through this part. Sometimes it takes a slug fest. Charlie, 374 words. You're struggling to get the tone right because this is being posted directly to the site. You would think with all this experience, you would be better at writing an apocalypse. Well, there is that, but it's also just like, you know, the, the uh, 
fiction and the real world when they start to blend like that it's kind of kind of hard to separate your your emotions so maybe that's why it's hard you get really bad knee pain when you sit at your desk for so long any advice um, some of that might be the angle at which you are keeping your legs. So I know that if I, I have the habit, really bad habit of tucking my legs sort of like underneath my body, um, because I always growing up sat across from my brother who has really long legs. He's like six foot three and I, you know, um, so just to keep from getting kicked all the time <laughs> accidentally, cause you know, um, I would keep my legs underneath my chair. And so that hurts my knees a lot. So I have to remember to sort of like make sure that I have my feet out in front of my body. Um, sometimes I put like a little footrest underneath my um, working table. Um, there are other options uh, for like at desk, um, like sitting exercises for your, so as long as you've got room to move your legs, um, there are some stretches that you could do so you can like put your leg out and flex your foot to like point it and then like have it go back to normal. I don't know what, what the normal status is called. Um, but yeah, so I would suggest just remembering to like move your legs around and make sure that you are bringing your legs out from underneath the chair and sort of like in front of you. That would be my 399. For Ayane, nice. Okay, Nikki, your dad is home and doing good. Yay. He's going to have surgery to fix his heart, but he's going to be okay, though. Excellent. Excellent. And the good thing is about um, a lot of the heart surgeries now are a little less invasive, so the recovery time is not so bad. Serves cap right for not telling Tony what happened. Kate, joining late, but hopefully you can steal 30 minutes to get started on rewrites for your nano project. Yay! Don't have regular index cards, but you have about a dozen packs of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Get mail with Kev's lad. Hopes everything goes well for Nikki's dad. Yes, if you're using printed fancy stuff, do you have any die cuts with view paper? Hmm. Do not. Yes, we're glad to hear that Nikki's dad is doing better. 1,191 words in two sprints for this essay. How can you not write this much when it comes to your novel? Yeah. Good changes. Good, good, good. Used to, you didn't see any in your scrapbooking bin, so you might have given it to a friend of yours. Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah. Um... So you might want to sort of like maybe shift the angle so that you're not hitting your charger, but you still have some workspace. Um, maybe that's an option. Don't know. But yeah. Okay, let's do, it is 242. Let's do, let's see if we can do a 10 minute. All right, well, he'll, he'll just dance this time. <laughs> he'll just dance. Okay, so make sure that you save your document because we have done some amazing work today and we don't want to lose it, so save it and make sure that you have something to hydrate with because we have been here for a while and we are getting started for our last sprint and I will be posting during the sprint links for other sprints today. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right. So thank you, Tomato Tom, for joining us today in our, <laughs> our lovely sprinting. So that is that. That was actually the fourth sprint. So I probably should have changed that, but I didn't. Oh, well. Um, so how, how did you do? How did you do? Uh, let's, let's do the math for me. Um, okay, so 5507. So, okay, so I got 2,190 words. Uh, I think I only got about 90 words that time. So, um, yeah. So 2,190, which is awesome. I think that might be like as high of a number as I've gotten in a stream um, this month, maybe. So, yeah, so that is pretty awesome. Um, despite me going like, I feel, eh, I feel undecisive. I don't know. Um, that's a pretty good workout. So, hey, I will take it. Um, how did y'all do? Let's see. Yes, the end of the dance party with Tomato Tom. Until next time. <laughs> I only got 178. Nice. Alicia found another source. Yay! Only one more primary source and five secondary sources to go. Excellent. I love that. 18 words for Nikki. Excellent. Heather did some more DMing. Yay. Gabby got 234 words for the essay. That is awesome. Uh, good question, Alexis. So yes is the answer. Um, I put a couple of links in the chat, so you may have to scroll back up for a bit, but I think it's still going on right now, but uh, Dahl is hosting a Writer in the Dark session, and Becca C. Smith is going to be, is there, um, so I'm not sure how long that's going to run, but that is there for you, and then Charlie, of course, our wonderful Charlie, has the Wednesday World Building and Writing Sprints, and that's at 5, um, 5 Eastern. Brittany is having some Preptober planning and writing sprints also at five. Um, using a beach themed paperback. Ooh, nice. Yes, absolutely. Since it's set in Florida, that is perfect. Um, Laura Nettles is going to be on tonight at nine. And Savvy has the author tube sleepover at 10. So if you are up for some fun and shenanigans, that is a good place to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How can they open pubs and restaurants but not libraries? It's probably because librarians have more sense. But, you know. <laughs> you know. So, yes, we had a kitty that walked into our yard and, like, went straight up to the direction of our front door. So it was a little gray and gray and darker gray striped kitty. So... Uh, should you attend every live stream as they happen? Probably not. Are you going to? Sure. Yes. Uh, thank you, Devin. Uh, I got a blank page is on at 4 p.m. Eastern. I wasn't sure if she had one tonight um, because she posted a different video this week. And I thought she was doing that alternate. But yeah. So yes. And then Bree is also going to be hosting sprints at 530. Thank you again, Devin. I appreciate it. And if you want to go ahead and set your reminders, I am going to be hosting the 9 a.m. on the 11th chatty stream. Um, so that is the last chatty stream before the closing chat from Jessica Williamson. So this will be after the after most of the time has elapsed has elapsed for the worldwide write-a-thon. You can come and dawdle and hang with myself and Abigail, and Orla, and um, I do have a couple of more slots for um, co-hosts. If anybody is interested, um, DM me on Instagram. I'm the dawdling writer there as well. Um, so yes, so let me know. And fun times. Sid is here, hello. Yes, I'm hosting with Abigail and Orla will be fun yes some some good days some bad days i know that feels 
there are so many stream links. Got to set my reminders. Yeah, and that's that's how I find them as I go into my subscription and I see all the ones that are like reminders. <laughs> and then I look at the date because that's about the only way I can find them. So take the highs with the lows and the lows with the highs. Yes, you got to figure it out. So end the crookeds with the straight. True that. All right, so let's see if, what else I missed. Squizm's got 82 words. 15 minute sprints is definitely your sweet pot spot. Yeah, for sure. That is a big difference from your, your normal. 136 for the last and 384 in total. Excellent. And CB has 2001 for the day thus far. Nice. Get mad with Cad the Lag, got distracted by Doll's live stream. However, you did set reminders for all of the other ones that we put in the chat. Excellent. Yay. 186 for you. These first chapters always go slow for you. I, I don't know that I've noticed if my first or later chapters go quicker. That'd be another thing to keep, kind of keep track, track of. Charlie added and changed some words, but you're not sure how many. You're not pushing it today. Just needed... Just need to end the world so you can get to the next element of the world. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Sarah is breaking down the beats to figure out how many scenes you might need in this novel. There you go. There you go. Yes. Yes, we do need the crookeds and the straights. Absolutely. Wonderful. Not sure that is warranted, but yes, you are streaming. You are wonderful. You are. <laughs> Laura streams, so then you have to end on time. She looks out for what's best for you. Yes, absolutely. Um, so Nikki is going to be having a Pomodoro-themed live stream on the 10th, 2 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> That's going to be in the middle of the Worldwide Write-A-Thon, but I think I should be able to manage that. So yes. Wait, am I? No, I think I'm co-hosting then. I will have to check, but I will let you know. Heather says, this is great because you were tired at this time of day and you have a hard time getting work done. Well, you're welcome then. You're back. You need to start keeping a food diary for your youngest. Allergies? That might be a thing. Is there any way to just to see just reminders for live streams? Um, I don't know. Um, I think the live streams that are scheduled ahead of time, you have to go in and like hit the reminder button. But a lot of times those reminders like ping in about 30, 20 or 30 minutes after they've started and sometimes after they've finished. So I just try and like at the beginning, uh, just before I do the stream I try and go fetch links for what's happening later in the day but yeah um, I also have a there's a spreadsheet that has a good number of regular write-ins um, let me post that link in the chat this is the one that Kara Brown put together I keep forgetting to like sign myself up for it but there it is um, so that is the link to Kara Brown's spreadsheet of normal, regular streams. So there you go. Yes, yes, Charlie is streaming at 5 tonight, 5 Eastern. You need a brain. You need a brain to world translator patch so you can get this idea out. I wish that was a thing. Yes, you can also look live right in. You can look up live right in or live writing sprints and filter it for today and then make a list and set reminders. Yes, um, absolutely. That is definitely one way to do it. All right. So I think that is going to be it for me. So I, I think I'm, I may, may have crossed 270 subscribers today which would be awesome because that means there's 270 us, of us who either want to dawdle or work, sometimes both. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, so that's exciting as well. But yes, I will 
see y'all next time. Uh, I will be back on Friday for some more sprints at 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern. And then Sunday, no, wait, what is, what is, what is time? Yes, I will be back Friday for my normal sprints. And then Saturday, I will be co-hosting. And Sunday, I will have my normal, uh, I think I will have my normal stream after the Worldwide Redathon ends. I will have to set that up as well. But yes. So I will be hosting chattiness and then I will be trying to get some work done in the afternoon. <laughs> so there you go. That's what's going to be happening. So yay. Awesome. I'm at 271, which is great. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I will see y'all later. Thank you for joining me today and happy writing. Don't forget to save. <laughs>